Hey, it's Tim Miller from The Bulwark. Donald Trump has issued such a chilling threat against Liz Cheney that it absolutely requires us talk about it so we can understand the scope of what a second Donald Trump term might look like and what could be ahead so we can deal with the ramifications of that. Um, let's just step back and take a look. So here he is. Donald Trump is bleeding on his social media feed. Elizabeth Lynn Cheney is guilty of treason. Retruth if you want a televised military tribunal. You know, here's the thing. You could say this is bluster. You could say it's bullshit. You could say it's Donald Trump pretending to be a tough guy. Maybe it is. But we have a confluence of events right now that are taking us directly down the path to disaster, to a very scary place, to something that is deeply un-American. We have the Supreme Court ruling, which we've been talking about, um, which gives broad immunity to the president. We have Donald Trump admitting in the disastrous debate last week that he does believe that he should be able to enact retribution against his opponents. And he feels justified in that. Um, you know, we have, as we've mentioned, a situation right now where Donald Trump is on a path to be elected a second time if the Democrats and their campaigns can't change course. So uh, like we are in a, a five alarm fire moment right now. Um, Liz Cheney has been one of the rare people who has been stalwart, who has spoken up, who has not used weasel words, who has said that she will not bow down to this wannabe tyrant. Um, she has suffered serious political ramifications of that. Um, but we've not gotten to a place where there's actually personal or legal ramifications for speaking out. Uh, Donald Trump is saying explicitly, he believes there should be. He believes that in America, if you speak out against your political opponent, you should be threatened with tribunals. You should be threatened not just with public scorn, but with the possibility of imprisonment and jail. They are serious about this. Let me tell you, they are serious about this. Whether they'll be able to do it, the Supreme Court just made it easier. You know, there's a lot of time between now and then, a lot of ways that we can be a bulwark, so to speak, against these threats. Um, but based on my conversations with people in MAGA world, they do feel they're wrong, they're lying, they're full of shit, but they do feel like they've been targeted by the Biden DOJ that's premised on lies. That is not true. That is not what has happened. The Biden DOJ has been, if anything, too cautious um, in, in being responsible and abiding by norms um, it, when uh, looking at investigations of Donald Trump and his cronies. But that doesn't change the perceived reality. The perceived reality of MAGA world and of Donald Trump is that they have been targeted and that they plan to target others. I got to tell you what, uh, I will be the first person um, on the line against Liz Cheney. I will be the tip of the spear, but uh, we right now are in a very serious moment. And Liz Cheney, who has done nothing wrong, has committed no crimes. The only crime she's committed is speaking truth about Donald Trump, is now um, on the receiving end of very credible threats of, of jailing of prosecution as if this is Russia and as if she's Alexander Navalny. Um, it's a very scary situation. It's an alarming situation. It's one that we're going to keep monitoring here. And by the way, the severity and seriousness of this situation is why it's so important that we speak honestly about the state of the campaign and figure out how we can help the Democrats identify a path that would lead to more likely victory against Donald Trump than the path that they're on now. Okay. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back here soon. Make sure to subscribe to The Bulwark. You get no bullshit here. We're going to talk about the threats. We're going to talk about the challenges. And um, we'll be seeing you back here soon. Peace. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts. Uh, you get bonus newsletters. You get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, you can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, we have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.